Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope everyone is having an amazing day. Now today I'm going to be transplanting my adorable little Cleistocactus seedlings that I have grown from seed. Now I sowed these seeds back in, gosh yeah, July 2016. And I was very lucky to be given these seeds from my very wonderful friend Martin, who lives here in uh, Ireland, in Dublin from his own plant. He gave me a seed pod and I sowed the seeds and this is them now. And if you want to know how to grow cactus from seed and you've never done it before then do check out a video I have made on how to grow cactus from seed. Links up above and I'll also put the links down below in the video description. And let's say these have been in the same pot since 2016. So you can imagine they are pretty much desperate now to be potted on. You can see there, they're almost sort of, well, a lot of them are touching each other now. And other than giving them a bit of fertiliser, they've not really had any other nourishment than what they've been potted up in. So desperately to be potted on. Got these little pots here. These are always like gold dust, these little five centimetre pots to find. And when I find them, I usually buy them in bulk because they're just so hard to find. And funny enough, this one here is um, obviously a Ripsalis cactus that the, one of the, the fruit berries that we must have had when I had sowed these seeds must have fell into this and taken root because I never sowed it. So this is from um, a Ripsalis seed that must have uh, accidentally got in. But I'm going to be potting that one up separately and using a bit of a different soil mix to what I've made here. Now I've got the soil mix that I'm going to be transplanting these seedlings into and what it is, it's four equal parts of uh, loam based soil, John Innes number two, mixed with um, pumice, lava rock and grit. And if you want to know how to make this amazing cactus soil, it was recommended by my uh, wonderful friend Daz, uh, Cacti Mania on YouTube. Do check out the video if you're interested in how to make your own well, very well draining cactus soil. Links also up above and down below in the video description as well. So here we go guys, let's get let's get going. I'm going to be starting off then by gently squeezing this, probably breaking this container uh, away and then loosening up all of the, the soil, gently teasing them away from the roots, um, sorry, away, away from each other on the soil and then potting them up in here. So gently squeezing them out. This should come out quite easy because it's quite a, uh, desperate to be repotted here and uh, always best to uh, when you're transplanting seedlings I always try to leave them in the pot as long as I can really because the, the better the root system and the larger they are the easier they're going to take to being transplanted and um, one of them is gently teasing the old soil off and this is the tricky part when you're separating uh, cactus seedlings when they're sort of all all quite close to each other it's, it's almost impossible to do without doing any type of slight damage to the roots but the less the better so gently tease them away there and it's going to push this soil aside and then put them always good to check over the roots as well the less you disturb the the, the delicate roots the better uh, this was another soil that I used compared to the other one. this was uh, also loam based with grit and uh, sand as well but it should acclimatize the new soil quite well just a bit of moss on there to tease off and that's the first one done and then here this one's come away as well there we go happy days <laughs> and there and then gonna do that with the rest of these and then i'll show you what it's like when it's all done here I'll just show you me taking away the the little ripsalis away from the others just removing all that moss and it's always good to transplant seedlings obviously when they're large enough but also when the, the soil is also dry because again less damage could come to to the roots in that way and can gently tease in i'm going to be then easing this little uh, <laughs> the the ripsalis that seed that obviously got in here i'm going to be putting that into a separate soil mix entirely because they like a more moisture not much roots on that but that will be okay so that's going to go separately and then uh i'm going to carry on then easing teasing the old soil off all these little little individual cluster cacti and removing the the moss as well and they show you them when they're all out and all uh, all ready to be potted up now that's them all all cleaned up there removed as much as the old soil off as i can and uh 
a lot of them happy to say have got good root systems so obviously i'm just gonna be then transplanting them into the new soil a couple of them the very small ones very young with the with the little roots so i had to be very careful with them this one here is the only one that hasn't really got any uh roots i don't know what's happened to it but there's a tiny tiny i just don't know if you can see one just starting to um to come back there on this one so i'm going to be very careful with this one probably keep that into a separate container entirely uh, as a, a separate container is in a very 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 tiny pot if i can find one for that one but these ones are going to be concentrating on today and potting them up so here we go here's all the pots and now i'm going to put a little bit of soil in the bottom of them before i put them into the pots now I've prepared all the pots with a little bit of soil at the bottom of them and rather than show you the whole thing because I'm trying to keep the video as short as possible for you guys I'm just going to show you potting up a couple of them and then show you what they look like when, what they're all, when they're all done so here we go there's the first one and obviously when you're handling very spiny cacti I'd recommend using some protection on your hands probably a sheet of cardboard or um, so that's very bendy cardboard or even sheets of paper but these are believe it or not actually quite soft cacti the, the cloister cacti so and they've they're very light so no problem handling these but just bear that in mind if you're transplanting very spiny cacti and then be gently placing that in there and then putting the soil just around the edges on here and here these little tiny spoons are great to just put all around on there and show you a doing one or the other another one and then I'll show you what they're like at the end just be a bit more organized here and I think I'll move the the soil that I need here not very prepared am I <laughs> so there we go and then gently press it down and what I'm going to be doing when I when I've potted on all these I'm then going to be leaving it for a week just to let the uh, these little Clystocactus um, babies, the roots to acclimatise to the new soil. And then I'm going to start watering them again and then I'll let the soil dry out in between waterings before I water them again. So leave it for about a week before I water. And it's always the best time of year to, to transplant seedlings in spring and summer or early fall, autumn. I wouldn't really recommend doing this in the winter time unless it was an emergency and you had to transplant your young seedlings. There you go, that's a little one. You want to make sure it can stand up in the pot. So that's the first one done, little cutie. I'm going to show you doing another one here. I'll get one, another good one to show you here. Again, a little bit of soil in the pot, little roots gently placing. The less you can touch the roots, the better. And uh, then very carefully putting the soil all around the edges so you want to make sure that the plant is fully supported what I love about this soil mix as well because it's very gritty the pumice and the lava rock really do help to support younger seedlings that are tall serious types like these cloister cacti a bit more on the top There we go, that's the second one done. And I'm going to be doing that then with all of these and I'm going to show you what it's like when they're all done. There you go guys, that's them all potted up. Don't they look great? And I potted up the little Ripsalis as well. I used a bit of extra different soil with this one. I put a little bit of peat in with the loam and a little bit of grit because these uh, the Ripsalis epiphytic cacti like more moisture obviously than the, the other type of cacti do. But I'm going to leave this probably just for a day and then give it water because, they're, as I say, they need more water and they're not necessarily rot prone like the cloister cacti can be. These I'm going to leave a week before I start watering again. Then I'm going to leave the soil totally dry out in between waterings. And then from the winter time, probably from uh, late September, uh, probably early October, I'm going to be keeping these totally dry over the winter here in the polytunnel and then resume watering with them again in the uh, the springtime. Now all I have to do now is just label them all as say cloister cactus studenis and when they were seed and when they were sown. So I'm just going to write the labels now and uh, that's going to be it. There you go guys that's them all labelled and there's a little bit of as well and don't they look great? 
And obviously I've put the name and uh, 2016, the year they were sown. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as I say, if you want to know how to grow cacti from seed, do check out the video I've made. Um, link up above and also it'll be down below in the video description. And if you haven't done already, please do subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell. And if you want to check out my website and you want to know a bit more on growing cacti and succulents, then please do desertplantsofavalon.com. And I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of cute cactus power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye.